Puts it inside. Takes it in. Good strength there. Still on the ball. Still on the ball. Perfectly passed. Come on. Oof, 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 oof. Oh, my God. The, the, he, uh, I think he's, Alici, he's pushing him away. Strength there. Th this is... Uh, he committed a bit too early, but that's not bad defending. He takes him to the sideline. Look what Benafra does. Quick touch. Gone. And now he's kind of the defender. The defender's looking at him. He's already scared. Look at him. He's already going to what happened. What's going to happen? There's so much space behind him. And Benafra, of course... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Benafra, streets will never forget. We're trying something a bit different here on the channel without wasting any more time, guys. Let's get straight into it. And if you don't know who Benafra is, <laughs> I guess you're in for a good one. Look, when we're talking about one of the most technical, technically gifted players I've ever watched, one of the most electrifying and exciting players I've ever watched, Victor Benafra is definitely one that hits or checks all those boxes such perfect tech that left foot was something else some of the messy comparisons were a bit crazy but you kind of begin to understand why and then you have this goal before before we even get started on this goal let me just give this man a round of applause yet already because this is one of the best goals i've ever watched in my life one of the best solo goals i've ever watched gets the ball middle of the pitch perfect turn leaves him for dust Lifts him on the floor. Complete split. My guy did the split. And then it's gone. And they don't catch him again. He's gone. They don't catch him again. What is this? This is perfection. Run it back. That is one of the best goals I've ever Idiot. I've ever watched. Like these defenders, straight away, past the middle of them, and then perfectly. F oh my god, this is definitely one of the best goals I've ever watched. Amazing! It's like his body positioning is so perfect, and then there's nothing you can do on a one on one against Penafra, he's that perfect. Gets it inside, takes it in. Good strength there. Still on the ball. Still on the ball. Perfectly passed. Come on, man. Keeps the ball always close to him. He's running circles on these guys. Running circles on these guys. This is like playing thief on easy mode. Or, yeah, beginner mode. Such ease, such elegance. It's like, yeah, he he never like was able to reach that next level, but the streets will never forget. Really, it doesn't really get much better than this. In terms of technical ability, and you know, you not accomplishing your your desired standing and still being remembered. Two defenders, like it's nothing. Such, it's like hot knife cutting through butter. It's just perfect. Oh, if that went in. He keeps going. Takes it in. Again. Gone. Keeps going. Oof, 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 oof. Oh, my God. The, the, he, uh, I think he's... Alici, he's pushing him away. Strength there. Th this is... Uh, he committed a bit too early, but that's not bad defending. He takes him to the sideline. Look what Benafra does. Quick touch. Gone. And now he's opened so much space for himself and for his teammates. <sighs> Perfect finish. Takes it in. Top in. Ooh. Ben Afra and Newcastle was something else. That left foot. Oh. This is Messi-esque, Hazard-esque, 
any other player you want to find that's perfect on a one on one. He's got such great balance, such quick feet. It's a one on one nightmare. If it wasn't for his anti, if it wasn't for Ben Affleck's, ben Affleck's antics outside the pitch, if it wasn't for his ego and his bad behaviour, I'm gonna begin to think where this guy could have ended up in football. Just bigger teams weren't really ready to take the bet on here because of everything going on outside the pitch. <sighs> this is what I said, that quick change of direction. He slows the game down, he's going in slow, and then all of a sudden, bang, he snaps. Gone. <sighs> the sense of gravity is so low. Perfect touch. On him, poo -poo. That's just quick movement. <sighs> Once again, we're using this sound a lot today. <sighs> Bull never leaves his feet, never. Always close to him. He's got space there. Puts it in. His finishing is also very good. When I was talking about, you know, a, a few videos ago about the name of Silk Touch in the final third Benafra also has kind of died in these finishings in his finishes sorry good it's a very very good finisher at least in these videos because you know again running circles around these dudes it's like you're a professional football player it's, these are grown men one gone, two gone, three gone. If you scored this, they're cones. They're pretty much cones. What were you doing? Oh my days. Some of these guys, they're bigger, stronger than Benafra, but going up against him is. What can you do? Their left foot is definitely. Sensational, magnificent. Another solo run, perfect. Oof. The change of direction again. Perfect ball control. Gone. Keeps going. Just keeps going. Power again. A lot of space. Cross with his right foot. This is Neymar, Hazard, Messi esque. How did this guy not reach the top of elite football? We're gonna be making more. We we need we have to make a a detailed in depth video on why Benafra wasn't able to reach the the heights that the likes of House and Neymar were able to hit. Because to me, this is not much different to what those guys were doing. At least from these highlights, this is a very very um, small perspective. But from these highlights. This is some next level um, stuff. We need to make an in-depth video, at least to react to someone's in-depth video on why Benafra wasn't able to hit that next level of football. Because this is something else. Look at the defender. The defender's looking at him. He's already scared. Look at him. He's already know what happens. What's going to happen? There's so much space behind him. And Benafra, of course. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is actually sad. He goes all the way and they put him on the floor. Oh, that's not fair. That's just not fair. Oh, if he scored that. And then he keeps going like it's nothing. Good day, good, good layoff. Three defenders on him. Brush them aside. Again. One look. Just keeps cutting through players. Winning fouls whatever he wants on the pitch. Good job there receiving the ball keeps going. 
fast på FFT. <laughs> ah. Takes it in. He's got space head up. Plays a perfect pass. Perfect pass. Jeez. Easy finish. Talking about playmaking in football. This is Este. Perfect playmaking. Let's see, finish. Takes it in. Keeps going. Can he finish? He lays it off. Good pass. Great pass. Bonafra plays it behind. It's like, I've seen enough. Like, we're going to make another, probably next week, we're going to make another video on Bonafra. Because this is some next level football. As per usual, I'll leave the link in the description if you want to go show them some love of whoever um, edited this video. Very, very good video. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching until the end. I appreciate you guys. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff for me.